What's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Today guys, we're fixing the rear brake or emergency brake cable on our 2015 F250. But first guys, big announcement. I know I'm, I'm gonna throw it in the next couple videos till you guys know. Merch, link down in the description. So here is my broken one. Just like that. So I'm gonna show you guys how to take care of this. And it's really not that bad actually. I was kind of dreading this because I've never done it before, but this turned out to actually be really, really easy. So a little bit of a pro tip here that I actually picked up from Greg. So I needed him to disconnect that because I didn't have the proper tool. I'm gonna put a link to the proper tool to get that apart. Don't get the cheap one, get the expensive one. The cheap one, not gonna work. The expensive one literally took Greg two seconds. I worked on getting that off for hours and couldn't do it, no matter what I tried. So get the right one, I'll have a link to it. It works like a charm and gets it off super super easily. And as for this, why we left this, well, that's the last thing we're gonna do is hook it up to that because you wanna get it hooked up behind there. It makes it so much easier when the inside cable can move. So when we get behind here, it's easy to get set up. I'm gonna show you that now. All right, so here we are, it's all hooked up. Now, uh, quick, there, that's how you get that out. Now that spring's there. So you gotta push the spring back. I hope that all came up. I know it kind of, when it came loose, it kind of messed up, but. And then you just move this up and then you can press this. I think that's coming up. You can then start wrestling this there off. So here it is. We're gonna start putting it back on. So I start with it facing down like this. Now next you wanna start working the spring back. So I start pressing it in and I just get it setting back there. Also at this time I start working the cable in its little groove. Now one thing you might need to do is pull out the cable on the other side. I actually need two hands to do it. One second. Okay, so we got our cable in this little C groove here and our spring back there a little bit. Now I can't do this with one hand, but basically what we're gonna start doing is working this piece in there. Now this will just push right in. And then what happens is this spring will come over this piece and that'll help hold it in place. Then we're gonna get our bolt and we're gonna tighten this down cause then it'll be good to go here and we'll move on. This is an eight millimeter bolt here. So let me get that in there and I'll be right back. Okay, so as you can see, the spring's in there a little better. We got this piece in. So we're gonna start tightening it down with the bolt. And then this will finish straightening out once we finish getting the, wire, the cable inside, how it's supposed to actually be hooked up. So we're gonna get that bolt in, then we're gonna move to the next part. Okay, next, so this is the brake cable for the passenger side. We need to take this bolt out and put that other bracket right here. So I'm gonna go get my sockets, find out what set size this is, and we'll get that bracket mounted up. Okay, so this bolt here is a 13 millimeter. And we're gonna take our bracket here. And there it is. So we're gonna put that 13 millimeter back in there and I'll show you where we're at so far. And then we just have one piece to hook up and this job's done. Okay, so here we are now. We got this part tightened down. That's all in there secure. Like I said, that spring will straighten out a little more in just a second. We got this bracket lined up. 
Now we need to make this connection here, which is which you just kind of bend this back. I'm actually kind of shocked I was able to do that with one hand to be perfectly honest. So now we just need to straighten this guy out more. So I am gonna need two hands here and basically you pull it in. I'll show you what it looks like once I get these connected. But this is the last part and it's done. Okay, so there we have it. So from the rear part, you get a good look at this. That's good and sturdy. There's a little hole there. So this is the bracket to the leaf spring. There's a little hole. There's like, I mean, it fits in there perfectly. So the bracket's gonna look like it's kind of uh, cocked to the side, but this flat part here is exactly how it needs to be. This, this, the new hose already comes in connected in this. So this is to the passenger side. So what I did is I put it in there. I did need to grab a help to make a hand to make this connection happen. And basically I had somebody pull, pull up on the, um, it's going to come to me, the brake release, the emergency brake release lever. And then I was able to pull from that side down and make this connection. And it just sits in there. So yeah, now that is all hooked together. Now, if you guys have any questions, let me know. I can go over, I can always shoot another video or hopefully I can explain it to you down in the comment section. But I was not able to find any video on how this comes apart. What I will say is the tool to disconnect the last connection I made it's not a must, but holy crap, will it make your life a thousand times easier taking it off that rear part? I really was dreading this job because I thought it was going to be such a bear to do. Based on older style trucks that I've had apart with Josh, like Josh and I did a rear end video, it was terrible to do and there was two of us. This, the worst part I did by myself and once I cleaned it out, it was pretty, once I figured everything out, it was pretty simple to do. So make, disconnect that part will make the whole rest of this so much easier to do. Again, link to the proper tool. I got a cheap one that's like 25 bucks. It didn't work. I know it sucks to have to spend $90, but I gotta tell you, it's well worth it in time you're gonna save and not mess your hands up and pinch yourself, cut yourself, ask Josh, it's happened. Do you need that tool to do it? No. To get it out of that connector, I did. Now maybe yours isn't as corroded as mine was, but to get it out of that connector, we I did need that tool. Worked great. But I am super happy, it's all up. We're getting this truck, this truck's getting back to looking nice. I bought it in kind of rough shape, but we're fixing everything and we're well on our way. So very excited about that. Anyway guys, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, merch. I'm all dirty. Link down in the description. I will get a, where's a part number? You guys need a part number. Here it is. There's your part number. I will try and find a link to that for you guys. I can't guarantee it. I got mine from my Ford dealer because I was having a hard time finding it online. If I can, there'll be a link down there. There will be affiliate links to the one specialty tool. Other than that, I just used some screwdrivers and a pry bar and basic stuff. So anyway, guys, like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you in the next upload.